Hello, my name is Do Young Kim and I'm a master's student at DIGIST, working with Professor Sung Yun Han. Today, I will talk about 16 core recirculating programmable silicon photonic MEMS. Programmable photonic array is a photonics counterpart of FPGA. We can say Programmable Photonics Array or PPA. This picture is an example of a programmable photonic chip. It consists of RF output, optical input output port, and programmable waveguide meshes. And the right picture shows the programmable waveguide meshes. Uh, we can make various configurations by configuring these waveguide meshes. Such configurations can perform MZI ring resonator and can be used in many applications. For example, RF photonics, prototyping, matrix multiplication, and quantum photonics can be performed. The recirculating PPA is the most generic type of PPA. Its edge consists of a tunable coupler and phase shifter. Recirculating PPA has some features of bidirectional connectivity, infinite inverse response possible. It is especially good for filtering and RF photonics. This slide shows the recent works on recirculating type PPA. These PPAs are great pioneering works showing the feasibility of recirculating PPAs. However, the scale of these works are not large. I believe the small scale is mainly due to the high power consumption and large footprint of the cores. One core of this consumes more than 10 milliwatts and its footprint is larger than 2 square millimeter. This picture shows pioneering work from Professor Jose Kamenis group. They used the summer phase shifter for tuning. As generally known, summer phase shifter consumes tens of milliwatts. Again, this is very impressive work. They even realized PPA with RF signal processing and using software. This PPA has high power consumption uh, because uh, it used the summer phase shifter also, this PPA has a large footprint. Uh, because of using summer phase shifter and tunable coupler, uh, the length of the edge becomes longer. It will be a limitation for large scale. So, we need a scalable solution and reduce power consumption. So we used MEMS. MEMS devices provide low power operation and we can make the compact devices as previously proven by several works including our PI's previous works. These are examples of silicon photonic MEMS devices. Left pictures are MEMS switches and right pictures are MEMS phase shifters. This device is using COM drive and MEMS cantilever. It can provide low power consumption and reduce the footprint. This is our programmable photonic array implemented using MEMS. I just took a video of moving it for fun. And I will show you details in the next slides.
This is our 16 core MEMS PPA. Uh, this recirculating PPA consists of 16 unit cells. At the edges of the cells, uh, they are 2x2 two two MEMS switches for tuning coupling. The area of each cell is dramatically reduced to 0.04 scale millimeter. This is 50 times less area than the summer PPAs. Uh, the total footprint for 16 cores are less than a millimeter square. These are the images of the fabricated MEMS PPA core. Uh, the coupling ratio is controlled by MEMS actuators. As shown in the figure below, there are two waveguides located in parallel. One of the waveguides is attached to a MAPS actuator. The vertical location of the attached waveguide is controlled by the actuator. By changing the vertical location, the distance between the waveguides varies and therefore the coupling varies. In this fashion, we can precisely control the coupling ratio from 0% to 100%. Uh, the right figure shows the simulated response of the tunable coupler with various vertical offsets. The length of the coupler we used is 100 micrometer and by only changing one micrometer of vertical offset, we can have full tuning. As compared to summer PPA, which has edge lengths approaching a millimeter, our coupler is very compact. As the area is proportional to the square of the edge lengths, our approach has a huge advantage in footprint. Uh, this slide shows details of the working mechanism of our MEMS actuator. We utilized electrostatic cantilever type actuator, which is shown in the left figure. Uh, the cantilever is initially lifted about 1 micron. The cantilever is brought down by the electrostatic force between the cantilever and the substrate when voltage is applied. These are the configurations that can be made by our PPA. A multiple configurations including single ring, crow, add drop filter, MZI are possible. Uh, this slide shows a configuration of a single ring coupled to a bus waveguide. The center figure shows the connection diagram. Uh, the state of each edge is marked by color. The rightmost figure shows the spectral response measured near 1550 nanometer wavelengths. As shown in the figure, the coupling ratio to the bus waveguide changes as we change the bias voltage to the actuator. We also measure the electrical power consumed by measuring electrical current flow. We got less than 10 nanowatt per actuator. Uh, this is more than 1 million times of improvement compared to thermally tuned PPAs. Uh, this slide shows a configuration of two coupled rings coupled to a bus waveguide, or namely two ring crows. And shown in the rightmost figure, peaks from the two resonators are clearly shown. This slide, we extend the crawl configuration to four rings. 
The measured spectral response graph shown on the right clearly shows the resonance dips from the four rings. In this slide, we have two ring crawl but with add drop configuration. Now, two bus waveguides are coupled to each resonator. The measured spectral response is shown on the right. Uh, our next step is to add phase shifter to our PPA in the empty hexagonal area marked in the figure. Uh, several MEMS phase shifters have been demonstrated so far, and some of their footprints are smaller than 100 micron by 100 micron. So we should be able to pack them into the hexagonal empty area. These are the most recent demonstrations of MEMS phase shifter, including the one from our group. Uh, the process flows are pretty much similar to the PPA, so integrating MEMS phase shifter shouldn't be a large issue. Uh, this is a summary of my talk. So far, we have experimentally demonstrated PPA having 16 cores using silicon platonic MEMS technology. Our device consumes million times less power and occupies 50 times less area than summer ones. Uh, our next step is to add a phase shifter to our device to have a complete set of tuning and scale it up beyond 100 cores. The numbers so far are quite promising. Uh, this work has been done by collaboration with Professor Gyeongshik Yu at KAIST and Professor Kwok in EPFL. Uh, this work is supported by Samsung Science and Technology Foundation, KIST Center for Quantum Information, and National Research Foundation of Korea. And thank you for listening.